there guys, Fellow 10,000 here, bringing you another Mag Mammal 2 video. Today we are on episode 22, and looking at our bolt collection, we still don't have enough bolts to buy all of the upgrades in Eddie's shop, but I do want to just quickly check how many bolts we need to buy the final set of upgrades. Uh, so let me just make sure I know. 900 and 450. So, you know, we're nowhere near that amount, but I have a feeling we will be soon. Because I'm thinking after doing tier 5, if I haven't got those upgrades already, I think I'm gonna farm the Jewel Man uh, minigame to see if I can get the rest of those coins. But anyway, it is time to head back to tier 5, so we've got to do some more levels. So we've seen Jupy Hornet's least favourite. We got to play a lovely VVV level. We ended up taking on City War once again. Can't really remember what this one was about. And uh, the last level we did was the damn one. The other one was the Magma Factory, right? Hey, Magnet Man. I'm frustrated because I can't play any of the cabinets. When I get close to them, they glitch up. Oh, the pains of being a literal magnet. He's one of my favorite Robot Masters, surprisingly enough. I really love Magnet Man. Great guy. Anyway, 36th, Quint Boy, Quint Stage. I wonder what the boss is gonna be. Score, 27.6, 25, 28, 30, 27, 28. Let's do this. I didn't see if there were any Noble Nickels. Oh! Oh, this is the Mega Man 2 for Game Boy music. There is a fly next to me as well. That's kind of creepy. Oh! Oh, I just realized. I'm pretty sure, like, all of these assets are... are Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. I could be wrong about that, and if I am, feel free to correct me, Mega Man fans. But this was the Mega Man game I played so much of as a kid, if it is actually what I think it is. That's crazy. Oh, that is so cool. And that was water physics, didn't realize. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's an iffy little situation. But oh my god, this music, this is, this is bringing me back. It's the Wily Star music, right? Oh man, that's that's crazy. That that's g genuinely that is crazy to me. That is awesome. Oh man, that is my childhood. Oh, I feel so good right now. That's cool. That is so cool. All right, I want to be very careful here. I'm gonna wait for it to go round a bit. Maybe see if I can loop up at a better point. Like then, and there. Let me off. Let me off this wild ride. Thank you! Hopefully no more spikes? Nope, we've got one of the uh, monkey enemies from Metal Man stage. Boop. Oh god, hello! Um, yes. Didn't mean to jump right into you, but you know, you, you kind of came in and scared the living daylights out of me. Can you uh, kill this telly as well for me, please? Thank you for the energy, wow, how kind. Oh, hello. Oh god. You're not in the best position, are you? The mini-boss placement in this level right now, not doing too terribly well. Yep, that's cool. That's fair. I'm gonna go right back to the beginning, aren't I? Yep. That's a bit of iffy spike placement. I don't like how if you brush to the right of the spikes as you're falling down, you get hurt. It's why I'm not the biggest fan of ceiling spikes. Just because if you brush them on the sides, you take a lot of damage as well. Whereas really it should be if you just jump up to the top or uh, fall on them that really you should die from them. It's just something that I personally don't enjoy very much. But it's fine. Alright, just gotta wait for this to go back around again. I remember how this works. And then do my casual walk off onto the platform like a boss. There we go, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, darling. Alright, we've got the monkey enemy from Metal Man stage once more. Take him out again. Hello. Alright, this one's actually in a good spot, because that one can actually hurt you. The only difference being, I was in a good spot to hurt it, so... I mean, look at that. That guy, that guy just... He died in, like, an instant. There we go. Oh, bless this guy. He's not in a good spot either, because as long as you know how to time your jumps... That was a long fireball, though. As long as you know how to time your jumps, he's not a problem. Oh, I just want to get out of here. Come on. Take out the Fan Fiend, and we are back into the normal world. Spikefall? Spikefall? 
Oh no, don't don't kill me, please. Thank you. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh, I love that. The little airman platforms just kind of popping up saying hello. I love I was one of the big fans of the airman platforms. I love them. I love them. I love them so much. They're great. Hornet Chaser, go! Good job, Hornet Chaser. My lovely bee. Ow. Ooh. We're okay. We're, we're, we're alive. That's the important thing. Whoop. Ah, uh, mini boss? Oh, Metal Man. Oh, it's playing the music! It's playing the boss music! Ah! I kind of want to fight him normally, because I did kill him with the dual satellite last time I faced him. Oh, man. Oh, this is like... This is like a blast from the past for me. I know not a lot of people liked Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy, but I freaking loved it, man. That was my game. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the dual satellite out now. Come on. Who's gonna win? One metal blade or one metal man? Oh. Oh man, I actually avoided that. Holy crap, I didn't think I jumped over it in time. Oh, my favorite enemies. I love them. I love them. All right, we've got the top man platform spinning at a very rapid pace. Uh oh. There we go. And I think I'm gonna get Hornet Chaser to just grab those bolts for me because, as I said at the start of this uh, whole level, I need bolts to afford some more upgrades. So I'll take what I can. I guess we're going up. Yep. I don't think I'm going to risk that. I don't think I need that E-Tank. Alright, we've got some Yoku Block segments here. Okay. I'm just, you know... Oh! Oh! I didn't realize this actually... Oh, that's really clever! Okay, so I can make a mistake and not die there. That's actually really cool. I like that. That's actually extremely cool. Okay, let's- let's- okay, let's focus on these Yoku Block segments then. One, two... Oh, no! It's those magnets, they pull you back, man. I was never good at Yoku Block segments, especially with those magnets. It's why I was really bad at Magnet Man's stage for the Game Boy. I don't remember if he had this gimmick in his... Oh, for God's sake. I don't remember if he had this gimmick in his uh, in his main stage. If I fall again, I'm just going to super arrow across. Um, because that is an option. Yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, I, I I was dumb there. I'm going to super arrow across. No offense to the, 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 the Yoku blocks or the puzzle. I'm sure it's a decent puzzle. But, like, if I can super arrow across and save some time, I think I'm going to save some time. Because I, I have a busy schedule. Whoop, there we go. Any more? Yep. Well, that one was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh-oh. No! Oh, hello. I was not expecting you. Not gonna lie. But I guess we're going down. Let's go. Okay, we've got some needle presses. I do distinctly remember the needle presses being very annoying back in Mega Man 2 uh, for the Game Boy because they did a lot of damage and that was always something I was never a big fan of, you know, taking damage. Oh boy, this room's busy. There we go. No reason to kill that enemy if I don't have to. Get out of the way! Oh, hello! Oh, it's a Tama! Hey, Tama. I think you're called Tama, right? Actually, I'm pretty sure if I keep these on screen, this guy won't actually attack. That makes this bit surprisingly easy. And the balls, I think, actually can... Well, they can drop items, I'm pretty sure, but they didn't. Alright, we've got more of these guys. It's like Chomp Man all over again. I don't want flashbacks to that goddamn stage. Oh, and this one is... Well, this, this room... Without dual satellite, I can't imagine getting through that without avoiding those guys. You'd have to be pixel perfect, man. Alright. Hello. 
So is this going to be the actual boss this time? Because we've seen a lot of boss doors, and we haven't seen any actual bosses. Alright. There we go. Boss. Seems like there's going to be a boss. Hey, Top Man, hello. How you doing, sir? Oh, but he's... Oh, he's regular Top Man. Who I still got injured by, so it's fine. Never said I was good against him. But, you know, me re regular Top Man was never the most difficult of, of bosses. I mean, given, you know, everyone took the piss out of him for being too easy. Okay. Uh-oh, okay, that happened. And I got an, a life back anyway for some health. Nice, okay. We're gonna fight Quint yet? I'm gonna get the Sakagane just in case. If it is Quint, I wanna be ready. Yeah, boy. It's Mr. Quint. Alright, let's summon my Sakagane. Go on. And boom. Quint is down and Quint level is beaten. Alright. Alright. Pretty standard level. I mean, pretty fun. It, it reminded me a lot of Mega Man 2. Did remind me that the textures are pretty bad in that game. Alright, anyway, let's see what the judges had to say. Star Pyro 25 out of 50. It's an okay level, but there are some rooms with very questionable design decisions, which kind of bring the whole thing down. For me, mainly the part with the needles and ladders. It's fine until the new Shot Man, which just cheap shots you sometimes if it feels like it, and just keeps knocking you down over and over and gets you killed in an otherwise easy level. I never had that problem. The other problem screen is the one with the double new shot men. That one was difficult. I have no idea how to dodge anything there, and considering it's right after a mini boss fight, you might be low on health and immediately die. Other than those two screens, the level isn't really anything special. It uses like every asset related to Mega Man 2, the Game Boy one, but I don't think they were used that interestingly with the exception of the Crash Man lifts. It's just kind of a level that exists that's always like, hey, remember what was in that one Game Boy game? I feel like more could have been done with this concept, really. Also, the transition from Top Man to Quint is kind of broken. I don't know what you did. Jupy Hornet, 28 out of 50. This stage was okay, I guess. There was nothing particularly special about it, really, but it was kind of fun while it lasted. However, in the underwater section, it was a bit hard to tell what was a block and what wasn't, and the Crash Man platforms went out of sync really easily. The Yoku block puzzles would have been fine by themselves, but the magnets sent them over the edge in difficulty compared to the rest of the level. The screen transition after the Top Man boss was really weird, and I think you forgot to place tiles under the vertical boss doors. Angel, 30 out of 50. A pretty good stage with some interesting ideas. While some rooms felt rather random, such as the second room from the start, all the basic ideas this level has with its gimmicks are executed pretty well. Aside from the spike ladder climb, as that part is just unexpected, hits galore, the Yoku block section, while intimidating, is nice and I appreciate the safety net catching players who are learning to get used to the drag. Overall, a pretty neat stage, with cool ideas that sadly are quickly tossed away before they can get expanded upon. Gariri, 27 out of 50. There's nothing interesting here. It's alright at best. I think certain sections of this level just feel unnecessary. The three hot dog mini bosses in a row were pointless, and the sections with the Yoku blocks didn't need to be there and could be skipped. Oh, and could be skipped. Uh, way too easily. Other than that, there's nothing here that is particularly impressive. I think this level could be better. Ace Spark 28 out of 50. Fairly generic level overall. There's nothing noteworthy and wrong with it, but equally nowhere are the boundaries pushed enough to make it feel fresh. When your most interesting setups are replicating Magnet Man's Yoku blocks, but worse, and sticking hot dogs underwater, you know you have a fairly generic level overall. In all fairness, you do offer a, new, a few new setups on some of the existing gimmicks that just aren't that interesting. I get what you're going for, you're trying to make this feel like a Wily stage, fair enough. The problem with mimicking the Wily stages from the earlier Mega Man games is though, well, to be honest, not to be a dead horse, they're generic. There are a few problem spots though, I'm not sure the Yoku block segment was handled well, the way the magnets are placed means the player is constantly swapping between polarities, and magnets having no effect, it's disorienting, and I feel after a couple of attempts most people will just give up, haha, <laughs> and use the super arrow. Another issue is that the pits are not in any way made clear that they are in fact pits, which is always a major annoyance. You set up the odd interesting optional challenge, and your reward is bolts. 
This will leave players feeling fairly gypped since bolts really are not enough of a reward for tackling these areas. This contest has Noble Nickels as a collectible, you really should have used them, particularly over bolts. Also, three dev kit bosses for the price of one! What they add to the level is beyond me, but they don't exactly hurt it either, so all is fair. They at least fit the stage's situation. I don't think it's a case of uh, what they add to the level is beyond them, it's literally a case of those three bosses were in Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy and that's why they were put in there. I distinctly remember the Metal Man fight, I remember the Top Man fight, and I remember the Quint fight. Everyone remembers the Quint fight. Alright, let me just quickly open my window because there's a fly flying around and I think he wants to escape. Out you go. Go on. Go on. Get lost. Anyway, let's continue on. We have uh, another level to do today. Hey, Blade Man. What are these mighty blades for, you ask? You may think they're built for combat, but their primary purpose is to make the world's best sushi! Good to know. And Dagger Man, hey. Psst, don't tell Blade Man that I'm down here. He's still mad because I took a stupid wallet. Ooh. Alright, and we got our next level. 45th Z Saber. A Mega Man for all seasons. Score 28.2. 26, 19, 39, 30, 27. All right, one energy element and four noble nickels. Let's go. Is that Bubble Man's theme? Okay. October, 15xx. For treason against his grace, King Henry VIII of England, Sir Thomas More has thus far been imprisoned six months in the Tower of London. Oh God. Also, why is this tree made of like just broken textures? I feel like I'm on a drug trip. I'm not gonna lie, what is th this, this, this theme of Bubble Man sounds really weird. Oh my god. A Dr. Corsac little flag there, that's kind of cute. Oh, hello. Got some enemies to take on here. Oh my, it feels like someone's just slowed down the Bubble Man theme and oh god, does it sound bad. Oh, I'm not a fan of the music choice. I mean, Bubble Man is one of my favorite themes. There's a Noble Nickel over there. It's one of my favorite themes in Mega Man, but no! Sir Thomas More, how any man should be so much taken with the glaring doubtful luster of a jewel or a stone that can look up to a star or to the sun himself, or how any should value himself because his cloth is made of a finer thread, for how fine soever that thread may be, it was once no better than the fleece of a sheep, and that sheep was a sheep still for all its wearing it. That is very philosophical, and that is great, but this music is ear grating. Random water. Okay, there's a boss door. Are we just gonna get straight to a boss door? Okay, we're in winter. I guess that's what it meant by a Mega Man for all seasons. October 15xx. For treason against his grace, King Henry VIII of England, Sir Thomas More has thus far been imprisoned nine months in the Tower of London. Good grief, what is... The graphics in this level are horrible, I'm not gonna lie, it looks ugly. Like, I'm- I'm just gonna come out and say it, this- it looks ugly and it's hard to tell- these should be solid. And this Bubble Man remix, no. I love Bubble Man and this just sounds... kind of horrific and look- Oh. I mean, it's an interesting setup, I mean, it seems like it's going for an actual historical accuracy sort of feel, which is- Weird for a Mega Man stage, let's be real. But you know, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely intrigued. But good grief. Hey, Sir Thomas More. For one man to abound in wealth and pleasure when all above him weep and smart fit is to be a jailer and not a king. That's interesting words. No, no, Noble Nickel. Anything to the right? Oh, hello. Noble Nickel, there we go. So I guess we just come back at each of the four seasons and find a Noble Nickel down here. Oh god, I, I'm sorry, I really, really am not liking this level's music at all. April 15xx, for treason against his grace, King Henry VIII uh, of England, Sir Thomas More has been thus far in prison 12 months in the Tower of London, so we've been 6 months, 9 months, and 12 months. Oh man, is there something down there this time? It felt like there was last time. M-Tank. We already have an M-Tank. We don't need another one. Flying Shrimp. Yes. 
There were flying shrimp in London, and the rain doesn't work up here. Was it working down here? Yeah, the rain was working down here. It just doesn't work up here. Okay. That makes sense. And then there are pippies as well. Just random pippies for fun. And chickens! What came first, the chicken or the egg? I'm I'm just... I don't know how to feel about this level. Well, oh, there's the noble nickel. I can see it shining. Come on. Maybe I have to super arrow her up? Or wire adapter up? There we go. If a king should fall under such contempt or envy that he could not keep his subjects in their duty, but by oppression and ill usage, and by rendering the poor and miserable, it was certainly better for him to quit his kingdom than to retain it to him it by such methods as to make him, while he keeps the name of authority, lose the majesty due to it. What a his this is this is a history lesson. This is just a history lesson. And I love it. I, lo I love the idea of being a history lesson, but the actual level itself is kind of garbage. Like, we're going through the exact same screens over and over again with changes. None of the tiles that should be animated are animated. And most of the graphics don't w or the tile sets don't work together. July 15xx. Sir Thomas More has been tried and found guilty of treason against his grace, King Henry the uh, Eighth of England. He is hereby sentenced to death. Oh god, that's dark. Alright. What's down here? And why are- Okay, it's an E-Tank. I don't need it. And why is- why is it just randomly, like, sandstorming right now? I am so- th this- this- I am so confused. This stage has confused me and broken me in ways I, di I didn't think could break me. Like, I, I just don't really know how to react to this stage. That's the problem. It's one of- it's just one of those stages. Alright, I'm guessing that it's either behind here- yeah, yeah. I didn't even see the sparkle. I just assumed it was somewhere around here. All right, let's go say hello to Thomas More. Hey, there he is. Hey, Thomas. My time draws near. With what wisdom shall I leave you? Perhaps you might enjoy a touch of gallows humor. My beard have not offended the king. Pity that thou should be cut that has committed no treason. Ah, uh, maybe not. You seem a serious fellow. Well, I can we go through this door now? Aha! Executioner, Sir More, I presume. Has ye any last words? It's Komasu Man. I like the use of Komasu- He has no invincibility frames. He has no invincibility frames. <gasps> Abuse him! Make him feel pain! I'm so sorry, Komasu Man, but this is... You just... <laughs> this level is a freaking mess. I feel like the only reason it's this high up is because of the, the plot alone. Oh my god, the tile set in that level was a mess. The constant changing of the bubble theme music was awful. The enemies were completely random. There was no consistency aside from you go up, right, left, right, down for a noble nickel, and then right for the end. There was no consistency at all. Like, oh wow, okay. How is it this high? I'm sorry. I just... Yeah, okay. Snow Rat Pyro 26 out of 50. Cute little level, though I do feel it kind of decreased in quality at the end and sort of became a mess. I like the initial room with the setups with the Mummerers, but later rooms just felt like enemy spam, especially the spring one with the chicken enemies. The level is pretty short, so there isn't really much to say though in the winter and spring sections. It looked really weird when there was snow and rain that didn't animate. The idea is cool and the dialogue with Thomas More and the executioner is funny, but there's not much level design to go with it and what is there is just okay. There's some weird enemy placement throughout, like there's a lightning lord at the start you can just snipe from the ladder and never pose as an actual threat, among other things. It's a cute and good attempt, but I feel like it just needed more content in general and needed a better central focus. Jupy Hornet, 19 out of 50. As time went on, this level made less and less sense, and the enemy placement felt very spammy. The third part was especially weird and nonsensical with all the random flying shrimp. The graphics were pretty messy, especially the fourth section, with the random sand everywhere. Overall, the time travel thing is neat, but it feels kind of like the level just copied the same section four times and changed the enemies around every time, sometimes adding more hazards. The gimmick started off nicely, but the level just feels really rushed, especially towards the end. Overall, good concept, bad execution. 
but um, given we, you know, survived the execution, so technically the executioner had a bad execution. Angel, 39 out of 50. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. How? The plot in this level is what made it for me, to be honest. Okay, fair enough. The plot was interesting, but the actual level itself, no. Throwing Mega Man into this timeline like that is just pretty silly, and while it is just the same few rooms over and over with a slight twist on it, I found myself just smiling at the charm non-stop. I wonder how this level could have done more to mix things up. It tries its best by introducing elements like water and quicksand, though I found them to be more of a hassle than an addition to the formula, and while I did shake the environment up, it went away before I was able to get accustomed to it. In a sense, I like the janky, rapidly changing environment that tries to get in the player's way over and over with different methods. I'm just thinking if there was a layout that would have allowed for more customization between reasons. Sorry for rambling, really fun level. Gariri, 30 out of 50. It's a nice little stage. I like the main concept behind it, and I wonder why the Seasons gimmick wasn't used in any other level. I also like the boss choice and mini plot, however this level has many problems. Looking at the primitive stage layout as well as the bad enemy placement, I can say that I don't like the level design here. Additionally, I felt that getting through the same stage with minor variations four times was tiring. Also, the tiles are really broken and don't look good at times. At times. Decent level overall, but it could be better. A spark 27 out of 50. This has to be just about the oddest Mega Man stage I have ever played. I mean, for all the issues, it's not without charm, and I personally found it rather entertaining, probably for the same reasons you chose to do such a thing, actually. I dig this area of history, and found that the entire thing fascinating. The item hunt for the nickels was pretty cool too, they're not hard, but they are neat, can you spot the stray pixel clue, or spot this tiny hint challenges? The whole concept behind revisiting an area several times over the seasons was great. It's almost handled well enough, but the further you get into the level, the less sense the obstacles make. Enemy selection was also all over the place, but not terrible, just some odd choices every so often. Neat idea, neat idea aside, the stage does have some glaring issues. There is a complete lack of challenge outside of maybe the squid on mid-boss, and far, far, far too many power-ups about the place to make an already easy stage even easier. I'm not sure what is going on with the graphics here. For every well-chosen tile, there is two really weird choices, and the level almost feels like you're playing a glitched stage. I feel really sorry for Komasu Man right now. I'm not sure why he was stripped of his hidden invincibility here. There is also a potential soft lock in this fight. If Komasu isn't killed in time, he'll run out of the arena and leave Mega Man stranded. Whoops. Fixed post-judging. This was certainly an interesting level, and I enjoyed it. I'd be interested to see what you other, other weird ideas you could come up with next. Alright, overall, it was an interesting stage, but it was a mess in my eyes. I didn't particularly enjoy it as much as some of the judges, but it does have its charm. But it's a mess! It was a mess! But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, and in the next episode, we will be continuing Tier 5. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Alright guys, I'm back here at the Komasu Man fight, mainly one because I wanted to get a screenshot of the level, but I wanted to see, if I leave him for long enough, will he run out of the stage like that uh, one judge comment said? Because I know they said they fixed it post-judging, but I kind of want to see what that would be like if he actually did run off stage. So, I'm gonna check. So, I'm not gonna attack Komasu Man, I'm just gonna let him kind of do his thing, and then just see what happens. Because I wanted to get a nice screenshot of me next to the guillotine. Alright, he's using his flame attack. If he doesn't uh, run off stage or anything, I'll just kill him. But uh, I, uh, I mean, if nothing happens, you're not even going to see this, so... Oh! Komasu Man? Komasu Man? He, he, he's not coming back, is he? <laughs> yep, that was fixed post-judging. That was definitely fixed post-judging. <laughs>